Hello viewers, I welcome to you to the second lecture of paleontology. In this lecture, we will be studying the processes and modes of fossil preservation. That what are the various processes by which fossils are preserved and what are different modes by which fossils are preserved. So there are three modes basically, fossils of soft parts, fossils of hard parts and indirect fossil preservations. In fossils of soft part, we can see that some insects are trapped in resins. Resin is type of a gum that comes out uh, from the uh, conifers or basically some plants, some trees, the resin comes out and the insects are attracted towards that resin. It is sweet in taste, so insects are attracted, who are attracted to that and they right? Due to the stickiness, they stick over there and then when this resin falls on the ground along with that insect, the overall insect has been preserved. Then we have mummification. In some cases, the organism die like in dry and uh, uh, dry condition in like deserts and all, in which the overall organism is covered with the thin sediment. In this process, overall human uh, or you can say the organism body is preserved, to which we call mummification. Then we have bones and teeth. Sometimes the tar and peat, they are like uh, very sticky substances in which the organism is engraved and as a result of which it again turns into fossil. Then we have carbonization. In this process, slowly, gradually, the decay of organic matter uh, under the anaerobic condition in which the carbon is trapped. So thin, black, shiny layer of uh, carbon is being covered on the organisms. Then we have fossil preservation of hard parts. In hard parts, slowly, gradually, permineralization and petrification happens. What is happening? It is happening molecule by molecule. Slowly, gradually, uh, each and every molecule is being uh, withered away and then uh, in place of that the sediments are deposited. Then we have replacement. In this replacement happens and then the minerals are deposited in that particular organism, organism's fossil or shell. Then we have indirect fossil preservations. These are also known as trace fossil preservations. Trace are, traces and uh, trails are generally the, uh, the indirect relationship with the organisms. How many organisms may indirect relationship like unke finger, uh, finger unke impressions hai, ya unka, uh, toe impressions hai, ya unke burrowing trails hai, feeding trails hai, breeding traces hai. So, in sari chizu ko jab preserve kira jata hai ya hoti hai in nature mein, to honi hum indirect fossil preservation bhi kehte hai. Now, we'll deal each and every aspect in detail. Soft parts as a fossil. Now, first one is insect trapped in amber. As I told you, the reason is very sweet in taste. The insect is attracted towards that. You can see in this image how this insect has been uh, fossilized. Overall, soft part is fossilized in this. So, it is, a, it is very rare preservation. Then we have mummification. This is generally happening in dehydration uh, process. If we are hot and dry climate is there and very quick burial is there. You can see over here how this human fetus or human baby is being uh, mummified. Then we have bone, teeth. Uh, they are generally preserved in tar or peat, right? So, slowly gradually this process arrests the overall body of the organism. Uh, the uh, very good example is uh, giant deer from Irish peat box from USA. Then we have carbonization. In carbonization, some organic substances such as chloroproteins, they are the polysaccharides, chitin, cellulose, lignin, they are very resistant to the decay. So, slowly gradually they are also deposited in the sediments. You can see over here, how the leaf of the plant have been uh, carbonized and uh, it will be, uh, I mean, it will be preserved as a fossil. Then we have fossils of hard parts. Now generally hard parts are the on only prone to fossilization. If I must say that, ki hard part ka jo fossilization hai, wo zyada better hota hai aur zyada easily hota hai. So they can be uh, mostly exoskeletons or endoskeletons. Ye bahari kawach uh, bhi ho sakta hai kisi animal ka. या ये इंटर जैसे हमारे में एंडोस्केलेटन होता है वी आर एंडोस्केलेटन्स और कुछ ऑर्गेनिज्म जैसे इनके आउटर एक्सोस्केलेटन होता है आर्थ्रोपोड्स दे हैव आउटर स्केलेटन मेड अप ऑफ काइटिन व्हिच इज अ पॉलीसेक्राइड देन देयर आर टू डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज इन द हार्ड पार्ट्स आल्सो वन इज अनऑल्टर्ड एंड अदर इज ऑल्टर्ड एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स अनऑल्टर्ड में क्या है हमारा जो हार्ड पार्ट है वो किसी ना किसी तरह से ऑल्टर हो जाता है किसी ना किसी तरह चेंज हो जाता है तो वो होता है ऑल्टर्ड हार्ड अनऑल्टर्ड हार्ड पार्ट्स देन वी हैव ऑल्टर्ड Alteration में क्या है? There is a changing. Unalteration में कोई changing हमारे fossil में नहीं होती है. Overall हमें वही fossil deposit मिल जाता है. Suppose you can see here, this is the example of unaltered. Overall woolly mammoth example है ये from Siberia. पूरा का पूरा जो huge mammoth है, पूरा ही ये fossilized 
हो गया था अंडर द आई शीट एंड एज यू नो दैट आई शीट एक्ट एज अ वेरी गुड रेफ्रिजरेंट तो इन सॉफ्ट पार्ट इवन इवन द आउटर स्किन ऑफ द एनिमल इज बिन प्रिजर्व एज पॉसिबल देन वी हैव ऑल्टर्ड हार्ट पार्ट you can see over here how this wood is been altered into other minerals rather it is it is now a rock wood if i must say ek rock wood ki tarah ye preserve ho jati this is a very good example of petrification then we have alteration of hard parts the first point comes is petrification this is also known as permineralization now it is the process of turning into stone petrification petra means stone or rock right how these forces are turning into rock is a very interesting feature what happens slowly gradually the organism's body uh, detach from uh, molecule to molecule from the original shell or original bone or whatever things are to be preserved and slowly gradually silica like yeah, like silica could be there like calcium can be there or iron compounds can be there which slowly gradually take its part so this type of uh, petrification is very uh, uh, very important in process of fossilization petrified wooden trees are good example and bones of dinosaurs and tusks of elephants are also example of petrified uh, petrification of petrified fossils then we have replacement it is generally uh, it happens with co uh, conation or i must say that it happens simultaneously with petrification sometimes the minerals or the fluid which is uh, which is present under the rock is been replaced by the organic material completely dissolving the hard parts jo hard parts hai wo puri tarah se dissolve ho jate hain और उनकी जगह रिप्लेस मीन्स कोई और मिनरल आके उनकी जगह ले लेता है तो इस तरह के प्रोसेस को हम रिप्लेसमेंट फॉसिलाइजेशन कहते हैं देन वी हैव कार्बनाइजेशन एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स कार्बन का प्रोसेस हो रहा है इसमें तो ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोसेस द सॉफ्ट टिश्यू ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिज्म इज बरीड अंडर द सेडिमेंट एंड डिकम्पोज लूजिंग हाइड्रोजन नाइट्रोजन ऑक्सीजन एंड अदर वॉलेटाइल्स द थिन कार्बन फिल्म अपियर्स एंड अपियर्स ऑन दैट फॉसल राइट एग्जाम्पल दिस टाइप ऑफ फॉसल आर वेरी मच प्रोमिनेंट इन कोलमैंस then we have indirect uh, fossil preservation now in indirect preservation it could be imprints it could be mold or cast and it could be trace fossils or ichno fossils we also call them lebens fossils this is a very important term generally we will not find this term very much familiar uh, um, among paleontologists but this is very important term you can uh, consider this term important for examinations as well then we have imprints now what are imprints suppose there is a soft sediment and the organism have moved uh in in the ancient time on that sediment then slowly gradually that sediment uh, are infiltrated or sediments are deposited in that impression then these type of impressions are known as imprint imprints or imprint fossils then we have mold and cast as i told you like you can see over here this human feet has been imprinted on the soft sediment which has been preserved in, in the due course of time then we have mold and cast this is very important the these type of fossils are formed when an organic body with sediment is removed totally by solution action or by the leaching movement like these spaces are created to which we call voids ye voids create ho jate hain jinme baad mein dusre tarah ke minerals ya sediments aake deposit ho jate hain aur jab bhi inhe ye hame milenge to ye hame as a impression milenge on the soft sediment so these are known as cast तो ये जो ढांचा है जिसको हम कह सकते हैं कि जिसमें ये जो ये सांचा है जिसमें सेडिमेंट्स फिल हो रहे हैं तो वो मोल्ड है और ये मोल्ड जब हम कास्ट करेंगे मीन जब हम जब इसको ये दोबारा से इम्प्रिंट होगा कहीं और तो जो चीज हमें मिलेगी दैट विल बी द कास्ट इट मीन्स कास्टिंग हु बहु उसी और डिटेल हमें सेडिमेंट्स में कास्ट होकर मिलेंगी देन वी है ट्रेस वॉसेस नॉ ट्रेसेस कुड बी एनीथिंग it could be like trailing of an organism it could be track which an organism follow for its feeding for locomotion for breeding or for any for any thing where he moves where he feel like then sometime croptolites are also coprolites also preserved they are the excreta of the animals and sometime dinosaur agnes are also preserved uh, which works as a very good trace fossil now it sometime happens that there are imperfections in the fossil record kabhi kabhi proper tarike se fossil हमें नहीं मिलते हैं डिपॉजिट नहीं हो पाते हैं इनके कुछ बड़े इंपॉर्टेंट कारण हैं जिन्हें हम अभी एक एक करके देखेंगे फर्स्ट इज इट मे बी पॉसिबल दैट ऑर्गेनिज्म डू नॉट हैव एनी हार्ड पार्ट हो सकता है कि उस ऑर्गेनिज्म का कोई हार्ड पार्ट हो ही ना जैसे कि प्रोटोजोन्स होते हैं हमारे या हमारे वॉर्म्स होते हैं जो हमारा निमेथ हेलमेंथीज और बेटी हेलमेंथीज के मेम्बर्स हैं देन दे मे बी डिस्ट्रॉयड बाई डिकम्पोज बिफोर कवरिंग येस इट इज ऑल्सो चांस दैट एन ऑर्गेनिज्म डाइज and slowly gradually uh, before it fossilized usme scavengers hain aapke decomposers hain bacteria decay hai fungal decay hai 
जिससे वो ऑर्गेनिज्म के पार्ट प्रॉपरली प्रिजर्व न होकर डिके हो जाते हैं द थर्ड वन इज लॉस कंप्लीटली ड्यूरिंग और आफ्टर डायजेनेटिक प्रोसेस एज यू नो दैट सेडिमेंटेशन इज अ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रोसेस एक बहुत कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रोसेस है जिसमें बहुत सारा कॉम्पैक्शन लिथिफिकेशन डायजेनेसिस बहुत सारे प्रोसेस उसमें uh, काम करते हैं जिसकी वजह से जो वो ऑर्गेनिज्म है वो अपना पूरी तरह से वो उसमें uh, नहीं प्रिजर्व हो पाता है या किसी तरीके से वो लॉस हो जाता है एंड एज अ टोल यू मैं प्रीवियस लेक्चर की बहुत ज्यादा चांसेस हैं जो एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स हैं या जो ऑर्गेनिज्म सी या ओशन में रह रहे हैं वो ज्यादा प्रिजर्व हो जाए बट एक और बात भी है कि वहां पर भी हमारे डिपॉजिट uh, फीडर्स या बॉटम uh, फीडर्स होते हैं जो उनको फीड कर लेते हैं दे आर लाइक स्कैवेंजर्स दे आर क्लीनिंग अप द ओशन फ्लोर्स तो वो भी एक चांस है कि वो उसकी डेथ हो और वो सबमर्ज हो लेकिन वो एज अ पॉसिबल प्रिजर्व ना हो देन वी हैव पॉसिबल लॉस ड्यूरिंग मेटामोफिज्म और पोस्ट डिपोजिशनल डिफॉर्मेशन मेटामोफिज्म इज अ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्विंग हाई टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर कंडीशन जिसमें हमारा फॉसिल्स पूरी तरह से डिजेनरेट हो जाता है या फॉसिल्स हम रिकोगनाइज नहीं कर पाते हैं या फॉसिल्स पूरी तरह से ट्रांसफॉर्म हो जाता है बिकॉज अ वेरी डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ physical and chemical conditions happens in the grade of metamorphism then some other important uh, aspects could be like that animal uh, could be very prone to the preservation process but it's sometimes that uh, the chances of the preservation is not conducive to animals preserve nahi hote hain so this was all today's lecture thank you so much for watching have a nice day thank you